What's up guys, McCaddy here, and today we guys a brand new sort of series for the channel where we're going to have a go at doing some laddering. It's going to be a live streaming series that I'm going to be doing every Sunday for our sort of streaming stuff. Ugh. And how it's going to work is we're going to be starting in a different certain tier and sort of trying to work our way up. It may end up becoming a road to top 10 or something like that. But what it means is you guys can watch me uh, sort of ladder from there. We can build some teams, work together to improve the team and just see how high we can get it. So if you're excited for this new series and want me to keep on doing this, don't forget to hit the like button down below. At the minute, we're going to be starting with PU, but eventually we were going to be changing it up, doing different tiers and seeing how we can go on from there. And uh, I've done a little bit of laddering this account so far. So we're sort of working our way up from there. And uh, Solar Flat asks, are, we, are you taking team suggestions? I would definitely appreciate some team suggestions. If you can see any problems with the team so far, it's a little bit of a weird team. Um, but I think it could work really, really well. So far, its basic concept is to hazard stack with Whirlipede, set up rocks with Marowak because you got the stealth rocks on there. And uh, basically, your defensive core is Avalog and Mistrevus, which sounds a bit weird, but it's been working well so far. And, uh, and then you've got some really, really hard hitters. Marowak, which is just really great. It's a, it's my counter lead at the minute. Because it Oko's um, almost any variant of Golem. As long as they're not like physically defensive or some weird set like that. We've got Scarf Mr. Mime, which hits really, really hard. And it's really nice. Because it's so quick with that Space 90 Speed plus Choice Scarf. And also on top of that, 100 special attack. You'll be surprised how much damage it does, even when it's not got a life orb or anything like that. We have got a bit of a weird moveset. It's literally his only moves are Psychic and Dazzling Gleam. And we've got Trick, because there can be some really annoying bulky walls to try and beat that. And finally, we have the Healing Wish, which has come in clutch so many times. You basically, you identify what offensive mon or you want more hazards going up or something like that. And you just go for that healing wish and it's really, really nice. And you can just heal them on straight back up. Say, for example, you want to get rid of rocks later on. You can go to Avalog, you can, you know, healing wish into Avalog. And that will mean you can get you rid of the rocks, which can really, really help late game. Finally, we've got an Assault Vest Bufflump, which gives us a Sap Super user, which is really, really nice. Uh, we do have another live stream on the 24th. I need to adjust that one around because we've had some, as I said, had some changes. And that one was just a... Uh, Sort of test one. I can't remember which day that is. 24th is... Is that next Sunday? Okay, that one's probably going to change. But uh, we'll just see from there. Uh, Marowak, as I said, just really, really nice hard hitter. And uh, the, finally, the Whirlipede set. I struggled a bit to go between Eviolite and Sash. And I decided that Eviolite's probably better. It's surprising how many hits this guy can take. And uh, just literally just set up spikes everywhere. Once you get to a certain point, you can endeavor, bring them down to that amount of HP, and then you can come in with something else to revenge kill it. Let's see, marble for uh, Whirlipede. Yeah, we can go for that. The chat is suggesting some nicknames. Titanic for Avalug. I like that one. Um, let's have a look. Poker Journeys, thank you. I, I, I'm glad you enjoy the way I, uh, I build my teams. I, I have a lot of fun with them. And uh, try to vary them as well. So we've got uh, Bufalon Bills here. Uh, with Bufalon. Uh, B-O. Bufalon Bills. Uh, there. I have spelled that right. Yep. Uh, let's see. Red Skull for Marowak. I do like that. That's a really cool nickname. Okay. Um, what other things have we got? Um... My name would be... Oh, no, that's a different thing. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mime and Miss Druva still need some nicknames, so don't forget to suggest those. We're going to be starting some battles now and uh, working our way up the ladder. So if we have a look at our ratings so far, um, I think we are about 1250. Mm, we may have dropped off the end of the ladder. Let me have a look. Uh... Pelipper Pride is there. Oh no, we're at 430 so far with 273. So the highest we need to work our way up to, to get to the, say the top 100, which would be pretty cool, uh, just as a starting point, 1366. So we need to get another 100 ladder points. Uh, Grave Killer from Mistrevus. Yep, we could definitely go for that. Um, Cordelia, thank you for making it out to the stream. I hope you have a good time. We're going to be having some fun uh, doing some laddering here. So Mimic. So far, we're for that, and I think 
that's going to be all it for the nicknames. We, yeah, we'll stick with those for the time being. The team may end up changing up. We may change some Pokemon and stuff like that. So if your nickname didn't get just uh, didn't get used, don't worry. There will be plenty of other times for you to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's set that to PU. Um, laddering team. And go from there. Right. Um, laddering team. And let's let's look for a battle, shall we? And see what we can find. Hopefully, it's been working really well so far. So I hope now that I'm actually recording it, it's not going to be an utter disaster. I made a bit of a mistake on the account as well by um, doing a bit of testing on that account before starting the laddering. So I had to do a few, quite a few more battles. I think I'm like ten and two, something like that. We can we can check in the chat um, in one sec. Uh, how do we actually? We could have a look at the ladder too. You know, it doesn't. Uh, let's see. Dash rank. Uh, so far in PU, we have played 11, oh no, 13 games in total, 111, lost 2. Mike, thank you for making it out to the stream, I hope you have a good time. Right, this guy has got, uh, actually his spinner is pretty much wrecked by Mistrevis, so that's pretty nice. So we will be able to set up rocks on that. A um, little bit more of a specially orientated team, but he doesn't have to be... Yeah, he's got quite a bit of an ice weakness going on, which is pretty nice. So, Titanic's going to be really useful this match, because we can do a, quite a bit to the... Like, Roselia cannot... I'm pretty sure that can't switch in. We're going to do a lot to these guys as well. So, that's really, really nice. So, I anticipate him bringing out some sort of way to try an Oko marble. So, maybe... I think Red Skull's probably our best bet. The advantage with Red Skull is it can take pretty much any hit. Right, Shell Shock. Okay. This is where it becomes tricky. Um, let's run a... I think we're going to run a damage calc. Because we need to start getting into knowing the calcs. Especially when we lead. So Marowak. PU offensive versus Torkoal. PU defensive. Bone Meringue does 80 to 104. Okay. Mm, that's assuming... This is assuming the fact that... Uh, is he going to make... Assuming he's going to switch is the question. Because that's that's a bit of a roll. Uh, but that's assuming he's like max physically defensive. Which I know they normally are. Let's see. So our options here. We could either stay in and go for Bone Club. And risk it. And risk getting burnt. Or we could go into Mistrevis here. And work from there. Ah, oh, he's... I think we're gonna go for it. He does go out into cleaner. That's fair enough. Um, right. I'm not gonna let this guy set up at all. <laughs> you can try setting up, but, um... I'm, I'm gonna have none of that, really. <laughs> uh, even if, if we'd have gone into Mistrevis, it would have... No, no, it actually would have been quite bad actually because he would have still been able to set up it's surprising how threatening this guy is but he does need to set up to be able to uh threaten our team we have got uh mr mime in the back as well and i guess possibly bouffalant would be able to take a hit so it's not the biggest of threats um but we basically get oh okay well we take we take him out he had the weakness policy okay <laughs> oh is that bone club i've got there ah it must have been when i was that's not meant to be Bone Club. That's meant to be Bone Meringue. Ah, that must have been it. Because I had to rebuild the uh, rebuild the team. Oh, Mike, I'm glad you enjoyed the subscriber. Just wait until someone subscribes. Because there's an, a very fun little notification. And he ends up forfeiting. So we're at 1288. So that's very, very nice. Giving us another 15 points. So we're going to keep going. But um, if someone ends up subscribing, you'll be able to see... Uh, the little subscriber notification that pops up. And I, I think it's quite fun. I need some suggestions for... Um, what sound effect to use because <laughs> yeah just wait till you hear the noise uh and let me know if it's too loud as well because it's difficult to... it's done on a separate program i've got so many windows open it's unbelievable but um yeah it'd be good to hear from you and just let me know uh that's brought us up probably quite far uh so we're in the 1280s uh, okay right whirlipede Okay, so I think our best let bet is still the uh, the red skull here. 
Let's just have a look. Marowak versus Wallaby. There you go. Mr. My Mania has just subscribed. <laughs> we, thank you. Uh, actually, it's probably the same Mr. My... Did it say Mr. My Mania or My Mania? My Mania. I, maybe that's a... Is that your, your save account? <laughs> um, yes, Pokemon's... Thank you, Crick Burge, for subscribing. Um, let's have a look. Whirlipede. Whirlipede. Uh, PU suicide lead. Boomerang. Yeah, that's a good enough roll. Uh, let's go. Let's go for Red Skull. Leads off with Arbuck. That's fantastic. Uh, let's see. Completely grounded team. So Boomerang, out you go. I Laden, thank you for subscribing. Ah, <laughs> uh, I do love that little latest subs upgrade. It's quite funny. Dusk Noir, you're not going to appreciate this. Oh, that damage is fantastic. Okay, so 207. We have got a decent amount of speed, so... Sucker Puncher? That's fine. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on, Red Skull. Had to unsubscribe and subscribe again. That's just cruel. That is really, really cruel. Ah... <laughs> uh... Or at least you now know what it looks like. Blizzard Midbus 27, thank you for subscribing. It goes out into Maractus. Ah, uh, Maractus. Hmm. I was not expecting to be able to stream today, but uh, I managed to get back early to my college, so that's why we're actually streaming slightly earlier. And we're going to have another stream on Wednesday as well, I just need to schedule that one. Uh, let's see, so Maractus. I think it's Whirlipede time and set up some spikes. Because we've got our own uh, Rapid Spinner, but he does not. Hidden Power. Ooh, critical hit. That's unfortunate. Um, we're just going to set up some spikes here. Which would be really, really nice. Uh, see what he decides to go into. Goes into Pordiard. Okay. Maybe this team is a bit weak to Pordiard, thinking about it. Okay. Actually, I guess Mistrevious outspeeds and we can burn it. And that's probably our best bet for the time being. And I, then we got Marowak as well. Um, yeah, I don't know why it said Mind Mania. It should have said Mr. Mind Mania. Uh, we're going to set up some more spikes, see what he decides to do. He is going to Swords Dance. Okay, this is really bad. Really, really bad. Um, okay, I've got an idea. We're going to set up some more spikes. Hmm. He does keep setting up. Okay. We're going to endeavor this turn. We need some sort of way to deal with Pawnee on a bit better. Goes for the knockoff. That's fair enough. Well, we're going to go into Mr. Mime. And we're going to trick him into Sucker Punch. Because we could be going for the... Uh, we will be definitely outspeeding naturally. So he... Hey, we got him. We got him. Okay. This is where it becomes really useful. So we got the Choice Scarf. He is locked into a move. Ah, because he's... Uh, this is, actually, this isn't, isn't good. We basically need a free switch into Avalug. Because Avalug can roll this guy out. Um, so what's going to go down here? Well, Mimic does a decent number against his team. Uh, Buffalant... I mean, Bouflon could hit, but uh, Red Skull is also really, really nice. So we need a better way to deal with Pawniard, which is a bit upsetting. Um, hmm. The Mistrevious has got Shadow Wall, Pain Split, Will-O-Wisp, and Heal Bell. Uh, right, so I think we're going to sack off... Uh, I think Marowak's probably, uh, Marowak does hit hard, but I think the rest of them all do their jobs pretty well. Actually, maybe not Mistrevious. Maybe Mistrevious is the way to go here, because he's got a very physical looking team. Um, does go for that knockoff, that's going to do a lot, obviously. Um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into Avalug. So, Pawniard is a problem. So, how can we, how can we patch up that weakness? Hmm. 
Let's see. How can we how can we fix this? Hmm. Yeah, if it was an offensive nasty plot, um, that might be the way to. Please do the level up sound effect. Okay, yep, I could definitely do that. So we can take a knockoff, and I'm just gonna go for the raw here and force him out. Goes out into Whirlipede. We can literally just recover here. That's no problem at all. And we can just start. Okay, he does start doing toxic spikes, which isn't nice. Um, we're just gonna go for a rapid spin here. And just go for another roar. We just need to start sending, sort of spike him up. He does go for that endeavor. Ah, uh, I was hoping he wouldn't go that turn. Goes back out into Maractus. All right, Buffalon, I think this is your time to shine. Goes for Leech Seed, that's fantastic, okay. Um, I think we just fire off a powerful return here. That might be the better way to go. We could make a Horn, but I don't wanna risk the miss, and he has quite a few things that can switch in. Uh, I have return on here over um, head charge just because I don't like the recoil. Um, let's just hit far off a powerful return. Goes into Whirlipede. That's going to take this guy out, which actually I'm really happy to, to sort out because he's such a big problem. Um, and we'll see from there. We should be able to outspeed a lot of his team. We can take a hit from basically anything and get another free kill here. So that's really, really nice. This is why I really like Bufflot in this tier. It's so, so bulky. Uh, hit him on top and Verizian nickname. I always go for Beyblade with that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm brave. I stream while the GBA is being uploaded. I know it's not the clever ti clevest time, but oh well. Intimidate does that come through, which is a shame. We're going to go for EQ. And he goes for a coil. Let's see how much this does. This should do... Yeah, this is enough. Okay. Let's go for another EQ. We should take... We do take a gunk shot. We get poison, though. That's unfortunate. That's really, really unfortunate. And right. We'll see what he decides to go through from here. Goes out into Gigalith. I'm pretty sure I should outspeed this guy. And an Earthquake's going to do a decent chunk. Um... Oh, that's a good amount. Ah, he is weakness policy. That's a shame. Um, that is a real, real shame. But... Mr. Mime can come in here and just revenge. So we're going to go for a Dazzling Gleam here. And see what he decides to do from there. Hmm. <laughs> cool hit on top Dreidel. That's definitely another option. I, I, I do really like the, uh, the Beyblade. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, your birthday was on the 12th, Blizzard. Oh, did you have a good time? What did you get up to? Goes back out into Pawniard. Now, let's have another check. What? He's Choice Scarf. He is Choice Scarf. We should outspeed. So, let's see. Mr. Mime. Can we take a Sucker Punch from a Pawniard? 69 to 81. That's Adamant. Uh, Dazzling Gleam does 83 to 93, so we just Dazzling Gleam here. He outspeeds. Oh, we tricked our choice scarf. What am I doing? Oh, uh, that was really stupid on my part. Ah, right. Let's go for a Boomerang here. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's really stupid. I may have just thrown that away by doing that. And we take him out. Now, the question is, can we take out this Maractus? 112 speed, so we've got 146 speed, so we've got a chance to outspeed here. I'm just going to go for a double edge. He goes for the petal dance. Uh, I think he's got it here, unfortunately. Um, I've only been going on for about half an hour or so, uh, so not too long. Uh, I should I messed this up. I already messed up. And petal dance is going to take us out, unfortunately. So we, we have got a problem with Pawniard here. Um... Let's have a think. Um, let's see. So, Pawniard. Pawniard. Let's go on the smoke on analysis and see checks and counters to Pawniard. Fighting types. Um, no, this is this is Little Cup. This is Little Cup. Uh, it's still not updated for PE. 
Mm, can't give for that. Magmorta Combuscan. Yeah, Avalug will sink. <laughs> uh, let's have a think. Floatzel is another option. Let's just have a look down the list, because at the minute, Bouffalant's probably the most flexible one. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. How could we set it up so we beat Pawniard? I mean, we have Will-O-Wisp on here, which isn't the worst thing. Yeah, Maractus should not have been putting in that work. I, I definitely misplayed around that. Um, if I'd have kept Mr. Mime, I would have just, uh, something would have taken the knock off. I could have come in. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I, maybe I misplayed there. Yeah, Iron Head hurts after SD boost. Let's just have a look. Avalog, P Rapid Spin versus Pawniard. Uh, Iron Head does 32 to, oh no, that's not, that's non-defense invested. Let's have a look. Uh, Iron Head does 25 to 30. Um, but we can't do much in return. Oh no, that's Imp. We need Impish. Hmm. So we could run EQ on here. Because uh, that would allow us to do a bit more damage. We have got. W the thing is, we outspeed with Mistrevious, so we can Will O Wisp. Uh, which is really, really nice. Maybe I speed creep with, um, how well does Marowak take a hit from Pawniard? Yeah, Maractus was definitely a fawn in our side there. Um, Sucker Punch d doesn't do enough, which is good. Um, they normally run max speed. Oh, we're not going to be out speeding. No way on earth, uh, if they run max speed. That's a shame. Um... Hmm. We don't get any Thunder Wave or anything like that that could def that could potentially. And so far, I found I don't particularly need Protect. Like it would be nice, but if I could change this up for something that would help us, um, that's another option there. Hmm. I don't see anything on here, unfortunately. Hmm. Right, we'll, we'll try again. We'll try again. Right. I think, as always, our best lead against this guy's team is definitely the Marowak. Goes out into Vullaby. Well, I'm just going to go for a knockoff here. He goes- oh, he has his own knockoff, that's a pain. They normally have foul play, which Red Skull obviously handles really well. We're gonna set up our rocks here. Foul- oh, okay, we didn't take it as well as I thought. Um, right. Gonna go into Titanic here. Not a good start on our part. But, we can just go for an avalanche here. Let's see what he goes out into. Grumpig, with the thick fat. That's looking to be a very, very bulky set. Um, but we can switch out into my Struvis here, which is really, really nice. Goes for Toxic. Bit of a pain, but not the worst thing in the world, because we do have that heal bell. Oh! Mav4976, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for giving me a bit of a shock there. We're going to go for the heal bell, see what he decides to do here. He does go for that Psy Shock. Really, really not doing much, which is really nice. And uh, we can just fire off a nice Shadow Ball here. Oh my goodness, that does a lot. Uh, it was a crit, but uh, still it is really, really nice. We can go for another Shadow Ball here. He doesn't really have a way to um, sort of handle this when we get... Because we can get a Pain Split off and stuff like that. Goes into Mighty Anna. 282 speed. He probably will be outspeeding us. Depends how he's invested. I'm a little bit aware of Pursuit here. So I'm going to... Ah, he does go for that crunch. It's always a bit of a mind game with these Mighty Enners. Um, but that's fine, because we've got Titanic. Literally, this guy will not be able to touch us. And we can just go for a uh, Avalanche here. Goes for an Iron Tail. 
Doctor Who has subscribed. The Time Lord himself. <laughs> We're going to go for another... Um, oh, he is missing those Iron Tails. That's unfortunate. To be honest, considering how much how little Pawniard does, I doubt it's going to actually do a huge amount. I really miss uh, Pelipper. Pelipper is such a shame that it's gone. Um, Chatot. Well, we have like the number one switch into Chatot here. In the form of Mimic. He goes for the U-turn. Oh, that was cheeky. Really, really cheeky. That looks to be Scarfed or um, some sort of Specs. Choice variant, because they're almost always choiced. Uh, no... <laughs> I literally have six levels of them. Bogus Booze, thank you for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Arbark. Ooh. I mean, it's a bit of a risk. Um, oh, getting back into this is Mr. Mime. Uh, we'll just put Charcoal. Psychic. Oh, let's just say he's like, worst scenario, 252, 252. Because we can take a Sucker Punch, we can't take a... Okay. That was a really, really bold play. Hmm. Yeah, Scarf Lot God has left us, unfortunately. We're going to go back down to Titanic here, because we can roll this guy out. He goes to the gunk shot. Don't get you get the poison. Good boy. Okay. Oh, we can keep firing off avalanches. To be honest, his only switching is the Grumpig, and it really lacks much, very much in terms of recovery, which is really, really nice. Uh, we're going to actually... Ooh, we, he's going to go for Psyshock. He won't be going for Psyshock here. Um, he is probably going to be going for Toxic. So, Marowak's probably our least useful member at the time being. He's going to go for that Toxic, which is a shame, but we can go for a knockoff here and uh, basically just try and get rid of this Grumpig's leftovers because that's probably the best way to go. The Vullaby is, does come back in, but getting rid of the, you know, the um, leftovers on that is really, really nice. And we can actually use this opportunity. Um, hmm. We could probably just set up rocks here and force this Vullaby out. Because how much does uh, Vullaby? PU defensive. How much does Sazzling Gleam do? 40. Okay, that's really not enough. But that's for death. Oh, that's with the Violite as well. Um, 60 to 71. So that's pretty nice. Uh, or we could just trick... Hmm. I'm going to set up rocks here. Goes into chat up. That's absolutely fine. And we go down to there. And that means we can basically... Um, go out into... We basically, we've got to go out into Mr. Mime here. And... Um, hmm. It's now a very, very... 50-50 choice uh, tricky choice uh for some reason my text has moved um on there let me just change that for some reason oh no we're not doing that oh that's actually okay we'll just go for that um we're gonna go for a oh we can either go for psycho dazzling gleam here Let's go for Psychic. He does <laughs> with Soundproof. Oh, that's fantastic. And he gets the Spadef drop, which is really, really nice. Um, he's Scarfed as well, as I predicted. He is able to go into the Vullaby, which is a shame. It's it's a shame, but we can always... Um, it means we can go out into something else now. Uh, like the Avalug and just pressure him. And he forfeits it anyway, so that's really, really nice. How are we doing on our ladder rating? 264, so we're still, we're still positive in those three games. Um... Which is really, really nice. So we're going to go for a... Let's see, that is working. Yeah, that is working. That's fantastic. Um, let's see. How are we doing numbers? Oh my goodness, we've got 24 in here at the minute. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Uh, let's go for another one and see what we can find. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I like this team. Um, right. Let's see. Um... I still think Red Skull might be the way to... Oh, do we lead with Red Skull? Two Grass types is a bit of a shame. 
Uh, but we do have Bufalon to switch into both of those. Snivy is basically hard countered by Bufalon. Which is really, really nice. Um, could be leading off with that Sandshrew. I think Red Skull is our best bet. Leads off with a Sandshrew. Sandshrew. How, how bulky is Sandshrew? I imagine very bulky. Um, little cut Rapid Spin. But we'll make you level 50. Uh, level 100. Marowak. Um, Boomerang Turkios. Um, roughly. But we can go for a knockoff first. Which is really, really nice. Knock off that Violite. Goes for knockoff. Ah, why has everything got knockoff on this tier? <laughs> we can go and... Um, I think we just go for a Boomerang here. That's not going to do a huge amount. Oh, nice little crit there. Uh, we just need to be more careful with our Red Skull here in terms of uh, that. Let's see. Rapid Spin. Uh, he is predicting us. We're going to go for another set. Is he just going to keep Rapid Spinning? He's not going to let us get on rocks, unfortunately. Um, I do remember the three-hour stream. That was pretty hype. Uh, let's just go for a Boomerang. Take this guy out. We can set up rocks later. Uh, goes into Servine. We have the number one counter here in the form of Bufalant. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I see no harm in just firing off a return. It's probably our best bet. Goes into Meganium. Meganium, you are not living this. I think we may get a Bufalant sweep here. Oh, not with the Reflect. Boo. That's a shame. <laughs> I do remember it. That was a lot of fun. Meganium outspeeding, though. Goes into Mighty Enna here. Um... Uh, I want to go for Megahorn because it's going to do so much more. Oh, please don't miss. I know you're going to miss. Oh, you didn't miss. Fantastic. Okay. I doubted you, Bufalon, but you pulled through, and that is fantastic. Um, Bufalon definitely tears this guy's team apart, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, we probably will be able to take another hit as well, which is fantastic, because he's only got special attackers, and then, um, yeah, basically no Contrary Leaf Storm, which is really, really nice. Goes into Servine. Um, I'm going to fire for another Megahorn. Aquatail. We get living, and Megahorn doesn't kill, unfortunately. We are going to go down to Toxic, which is unfortunate. Um, but what we can do now is uh, go into... Right. Uh, I think Mischievous is our best bet. We do have to take a Leaf Storm. Something's got to take a Leaf Storm unless we go to Mr. Mime, but then he can switch out there. Uh, so I think... Mischievous is our best bet here, because we can take an uninvested Leaf Storm, because I think Servine... Servine's not going to have that much uh, offensive attack. Special attack 60, yeah, we can take that. And a Shadow Ball will be able to kill. He, if he does switch out, that's fine. We've actually forced this guy out, and that's really, really important. Uh, we can go for a nice little Will-O-Wisp here, and see what this guy decides to do. We have got a way to phase this guy, and a way to trick him, so I'm not massively scared. Um... What's my current PU rating? Uh, I think we fluctuated slightly. Um, we are currently at... Uh, let, let it load up. Uh, uh, let's see. 264. Uh, with 13 wins and 3 losses. Um, Meowstic. There's not much this guy can... He's going he's gonna to calm mine. That's interesting. Um, we do drop a Spadef though, which is really fantastic. Uh, he doesn't really have a form of recovery. So I'm interested to see what this Meowth is going to do. <laughs> We're getting these drops. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, let's go for Shadow Ball. He does go for that Psychic, doing absolutely nothing as we are able to take him out. So that's fantastic. Bills is love, Bills is life. Absolutely 100%. We can take a Leaf Storm. I'm pretty comfortable with that. That was a crit. Ah. <laughs> uh, Let's see. And he ends up forfeiting. So we are now at... Uh, we've got another 22 points of that. So we're at 1286. Which puts us... Uh, let's have a look. 1286. Uh, 1286. So in the 370 marks. Uh, Pelly Pepper Pride. 372. Um... That's pretty nice. Happy New Year's for them snap stat drops, definitely. Uh, right, let's go for another one. So we're doing pretty well. I think we've won three, lost one. Something like that. Um, oh, my goodness. What a team. <laughs> oh, I've got hiccups now. Um, 
So much potential for Leeds here. This is so many grass types as well. Bouffalant's going to have a, uh, a field day. <laughs> so, I'm kind of anticipating the golem lead. Golem lead is, it is. Okay, that's fantastic. Red Skull beats this 1v1. Boomerang does it kill this. Breaks through Sturdy as well, which is really nice. There you go. I have pleased the hack gods as well. <laughs> I don't know how useful Red Skull is going to be. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's go for a knockoff here. He goes for his own knockoff. Inevitably, is there going to be a battle where we're not going to be knocked off? But we just want to get rid of... Let's see what items is. He's Life Orb. He's the SD set. Um, we're going to go for Double Edge. As he goes to the SD, that should, this should still do a decent chunk. Yeah, that's reasonable. We've got a Scarf Mr. Mime in the back, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, right. We're going to go into Mr. Mime. Let me just calc that. I'm, I'm not... I don't want to doubt Mr. Mime, but... Um, Leafy on P, Swords Dance. Uh... Choice Scarf, uh, we'll just put whatever. Uh, Psychic. 64 to 75. If he's max HP invested. Oh, he's not got that. Um, let's see. Psychic does 52. So, Mr. Mime, you are Choice Scarf and you can outspeed. TVR, thank you for making it out to the stream. I hope you have a good time. It's been fun so far. Or do I Dazzling Gleam? Um, let's see. Dazzling Gleam slightly weaker. But it allows us to hit the, um, what's Michigi? I think we get Dazzling Gleam here. That should take him out. Fantastic. Okay. He was not some weird Spadef set. Spadef Swords Dance would be a bit interesting. Goes into Meowstic here. Uh, we can just go into Mistrevious because this is our handle to Meowstic. T-Wave, not the worst thing in the world. We can just fire off a Will-O-Wisp here. Um... <laughs> Somebody click the sub button. <laughs> yeah, we've got a very, very interesting um, <laughs> uh, little sub button thing going on, which is quite fun. Uh, go some magic coat. Oh, oh well, doesn't make a difference. We can just keep going for Brilla Wisps here. Do what you want to do. Sunny day. Ah, oh, this is a sunny day team. That makes sense. That makes more sense now. We do have Buffalon, which can handle them, which is really, really nice. Maractus, you're not going to take a Shadow Ball very well. Chlorophyll. Uh, we're going to fire off a Willow here, because it's in the sun. Not that it makes any difference, but uh, Growth. Okay, you're spooky. You're very, very spooky. Uh, but if he's special, we can take a hit. If he's physical, we can take a hit. Uh, Solar Beam. Critical hit. We cannot take a critical hit, Solar Beam. Um, right. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not unsubbing to uh, well after all of this time. Not for that sound. Okay. Do we bait him? Is the question. Because that would burn some more turns. He is life orb. Uh, let's see. So we could go into Bouffalon here. Uh, let's have a look. And we need we need to calc this because I don't want to take too much with Bouffalon. Um. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm in shock. Achievement for Huntress, thank you for subscribing. I know you're already there, but... Oh, it gives me such a shock when it does it. <laughs> uh, assault Vest. Uh, versus Maractus. Um, 252. Oh my goodness, that special attack. Um, hidden Power Fire. Okay, we can take these. Let's go into Bouffalomp. I'm just far off a nice and powerful return. Come on, mess up. Go for that solar beam. Hyper voice. Ooh, that's nasty. But we got rid of the Maractus, which is really nice. And hopefully the sun will go down. It does not go down. But it may fade this turn. We'll see. Um, but now he's just got physical attackers left, so I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, what's my thoughts on Meg, Gyarados, Cloyster, Honchko, Trevenant, Smeargle, Crossel, and Krogonal falling under 3.41 in their respective tiers? Um, I can kind of understand Mega Gyarados. It's... It's, ah, uh, maybe, Y-T-N-E-Y-H, thank you for subscribing, <laughs> um, let's see, it was Achievement Huntress that went up, yeah, uh, we're gonna go for a return, X is, a, is we're gonna live, because Bouffalon is so, so bulky, oh, that damage, that's fantastic, um, right, 
Uh, there's probably an insane delay because it's got to go... There's 20 second delay on when it subs to come to me. And then it's got a 30 second delay from there to go to your video. Your sort of way, where you're watching. So that's probably why there's quite a bit of a delay. Um, we're just going to go for another turn here. Go to knock off. Fair enough. Mode Crater. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thoughts on Wish Cash? Really, really bulky guy. But, um... Uh, oh, we can go to Whirlipede here, actually. Um, let's go for Protect. Um, what Whiskash is really bulky, but just doesn't hit hard. Like, you need a lot of Dragon Dancers, and just gets walled by uh, Leaf types as well. I've never really found much love with it. The One Lonely Cow, thank you for making it out to the stream. We've got quite a few different changes going on. We've got a bit of a text issue going on at the minute. Um... Robert plays Pokemon Pro. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a text problem, but it's it's something I can sort out later. Uh, or I could I could do it while we're waiting. Let's uh, let's just trim this down. I don't understand how it it keeps changing where the end of the text is. That's better. Goes to knock off as we protect, and uh, this time we can just set. I'm just setting up some T spikes because. It's definitely worth doing. Knock off our Violite. That's fair enough. That's no problem at all. Uh, I'm going to get into PU. Any team suggestions? I would recommend grabbing any of my sort of semi-serious uh, PU teams and going from there. You can't really go wrong with a lot of them. Um, this one, yeah, it seems to be working okay. Yawn. Ooh, that's a bit nasty. Um, but we're going to use this as sleep fodder, so that's absolutely fine. We're just going to keep setting up spikes and T-spikes, because this is going to stop him from sweeping. Ah, he does bounce them back. That's a shame. I completely forgot about that magic coat. That's fair enough. That's no problem at all. We can just go out into our Mr. Mime here and see what he decides to do. He goes into Swords Bark. Uh, I want to keep Mr. Mime around, because Avalog is just a hard counter to Swords Bark, even if he decides to SD. Okay, he doesn't. He goes into Meowstic. Um... Let's go for an avalanche here. See what he decides to do. Oh no, do we switch out? No, we switch out here. We switch out into Mr. Mime. Because we need to keep Avalog around. We don't want him paralyzed or anything like that. I probably should have gone to Whirlipede thinking about it. Because he was asleep. But then I'd lose my sleep fodder. Um, we just go for the Dazzling Gleam here. We do take him out from the burn as well, which is fantastic. Um... Scaring Makadi is cruel but hilarious. So how toxic spikes work is you set up one layer and they become normally poisoned. So they take 12% off their HP every single time. Whereas uh, two layers, they, they get toxic. And uh, it's really, really nice. Swords Dance. Oh, come on. Come on, Mimic. Don't don't play these games. Don't play these games. Horn Leech is going to bring him back up. But toxic damage is going to be able to wear him down. Which is really, really nice. Did you know that Max Attack Caterpie with U-Turn KOs Hooper Unbound? <laughs> I did not realize that. Um, yeah, grounded types, uh, poison types absorb them. So um, certain teams, it's not worth setting up T-Spikes, but there's very few grounded uh, poison types in PU that are any good. Jump Kick, we can take that. And uh, we live in. That's fantastic. And what's that bring our ladder rating to? 1307! We have passed the 1300s, which is really, really exciting. Behem is a beast in PU. Assault Vest Behem is nothing to mess with. Or Trick Room. But the thing I like about Behem is the fact it's got the analytic ability. Such a broken ability. Uh, with, like, such a powerful special attacker as well. Let's have another look at that ladder and uh, see from there. Um, let's see... Uh, ladder. P.U. Uh, ooh, we up into like, how, what, what was our rank? What did our rank do? 1307. 275 now. That's pretty sweet, must admit. Um, what's the percentages for? Is that win-loss? No, GXE. Uh, I have no idea what GXE stands for. Uh, let's just have a look at our... How are we doing wins versus losses? I apologise that we have to take a bit of a gap between each one, but they are quite intense, and it's just good to see. I I, I really like Heat more. Uh, Guido Martino, 
Apologize if I spelt, uh, said your name wrong. Uh, I do really like Heatmore. Heatmore is really good. Uh, so which P Pokemon do I like the most? I would. I really like Bufalon. Bufalon P U is just so bulky and so offensive, and uh, it's, oh, it's just fantastic. So we're fifteen and three here, uh, which is really really nice. How are we doing time wise? So we're an hour in. Let's keep going. Um. So that's good. We, we've gone from about 400 to 275. Um, what other PU Pokemon do I like? I, I really like Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is a fantastic mon in this tier. Uh, Weavile versus Meg or Mega Gyarados. Which one? Um, I would say Gyarados. Gyarados, I would say. Yeah, I should probably control F. That's probably a quicker way to do it than uh, search through it. But it's quite exciting to look through the ranks and just try and find where you are. <laughs> Um, I would say Mega Gyarados. I like the extra bulk that you get, and also when you Mega Up, you get the Intimidates and stuff like that, which is really, really nice. And, um, yeah, that's what I'd definitely say. <laughs> I'm, like, constantly on edge now, because I'm expecting the, the Gyarados sound to come up in my head. Um, right. Basically, Marowak has a very good lead potential here. Goes into Layron. Balloon. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Knock off. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Does set up his rocks. Unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. But we can go for a bone rank. If he wants to go out into Dudrio, I'm pretty sure. Dudrio. P wall breaker. Versus um what's him call it? Um Marowak. P offensive. Uh, that's zero, uh, we got like 190, so he can't Oko us, even if he's Choice Banded. Can we kill? Double Edge kills. This guy's a massive threat, so we click it. Goes, oh, why am I, I forget this guy gets knockoff. Still doing a decent chunk, um, that's fine. If he's choiced into this, uh, not the worst thing in the world. We're gonna go for a Double Edge here. Uh, what are your thoughts on FU becoming tier? It was a really weird tier when I played it, I must admit. I don't know how I felt about it, it... It had some good points and some bad points. Uh, it was basically everything was super bulky and you just set up with everything. Um, which I never really do ver did very well, um, personally. Let's see, I'm going to knock off here. Sunny day. Oh, critical hit. We take out your Eviolite, which is fantastic. You're going to be a lot less bulky now, which is really, really nice. Um, Right, Red Skull, you're going to be preserved, because I think you're going to go for the Solar Beam. Yes, we got him. Okay, fantastic. No one expects Bufalon to come through, and uh, we can just fire off a nice and powerful return. Sludge Bomb, don't you dare get poisoned. Good boy, Bufalon. Bufalon is just, like, the backbone of this team. Uh, FU is basically the PU of PU, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, Dude, Rio. Uh, how much do you do to Avalog? You do too much. That's a shame. Um, what about versus, um, Bufalont? Uh, no, not Bufalont versus Bufalont. We want Bufalont versus, uh, Dudrio. Dudrio. Brave Bird, 72 to 86. It's going to be too much, unfortunately. That's a shame. Um, I think Bufalont, it's your time to, time to go. We have ways around this, so we can go into Titanic and stuff like that. Um, so let's fire off a return here. Goodbye, sweet prince. And we just go into Titanic here. And we just fire off a rapid spin. Because he can either stay in here, which he is going to do, and he's going to die to recall. Oh, but we can't get the rapid spin off. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. I didn't think that through. Goes into Heatmore. Heatmore is interesting. 146 speed. Definitely something I've not been expecting. Uh, hmm. Gogo is really good in PU. Uh, Gogo is a massive threat. Um, how are we going to win this? Because Heatmore is a threat. A really, really big threat. Um, Mistreva should still do a decent amount to heat more. Um, 
But we can take a Sucker Punch from Heatmore with he Mr. Mime. Um, what does Titanic do? Titanic doesn't actually do a huge amount more. So, um, I'm just going to go for an Avalanche here. Ah, he misses the Fire Blast. We're going to get some chip damage off, which is really nice. <laughs> what is FU? Basically, it's the PU or PU. Um, Wessel Mulder, thank you for making it out to the stream. And uh, I hope you have a good afternoon slash evening or whatever time it is at yours. <laughs> uh, he is going to hit another Fire Blast, which is a shame. He is Life Orb, so Heat More. Heat More. Uh, PU Mixed Offensive versus Mr. Mime. Um, Life Orb. I psychic. Psychic. 61 to 72. Um, Sucker Punch does 47 to 58. Um, <clears throat> I haven't tried Charizard and IU. No, I think it needs to be a bit lower than that. Um, what about Mischievous? Uh, Mischievous, PU, Defensive. Uh, see, we don't have those defense EVs. Uh, Shadow Ball. I apologize if I'm taking my extra time. It's just I want to make sure I make the right plays. Um, right. Maybe the way to go here is to go into Marowak. Because I just need one set of life orb damage and then I'm good to go. But I don't want to rely on Mr. Mime. Um, I think Mischievous might be our best bet here. We're going to go for a Shadow Ball here. We do outspeed, which is really, really nice. He does go for that knockoff, though, which is a shame. Um, we're going to go for a Pain Split here. Yes! Wigglytuff comes in. That's fantastic. And we're back up to full. Um, I think this is our opportunity here to set up some T-Spikes. Uh, we're going to protect here just in case. And see how this goes. Goes to the Fire Blast, that's fair enough. Um, but if we set up some T-Spikes, just one layer of T-Spikes will be enough to wear this Heatmore down, which is really, really nice. He does end up taking us out, which is a shame. Um, how much did they do? We outsped with uh, Mischievous. So we got to go into our Mr. Mime here. Will he go to P or drop to NU? I would say it's going to go to NU, Charizard will. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go for it. Um, I'm going to go for... I think we just go for Psychic here. Take out the Heat more. That's fantastic. He doesn't know what set we are. But, on the other hand, this thing is a massive, massive threat. Goes into Clang. We've got to go into Mischievous here and hope we can take a plus one gear grind. Will O Wisp here. No, we can't. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. Actually, we might outspeed with this. But we still can't do enough. Hmm. Right. I think I've got an idea of how to beat this. I think we Healing Wish here. And we Healing Wish into Marowak. And we go for a Bone Meringue here. Shift Gear, come on. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. As long as we can live one. We can live one. Oh my goodness, this is going to be close. It depends on whether we can... Uh, actually, no, this is weakened, isn't it? Oh, We might be able to. 50. It's our best chance. Ah, that's a shame. That was a really, really close one. We do lose quite a few ladder points, which is a shame. Ah. Let's keep going. We can keep going on the grind. Right. 
This guy's basically thrown every single major threat together, um, which is quite interesting. <laughs> We're going to lead it with Marowak again, because I have a feeling he might be leading off with the Mag Cargo. Uh, leads off Porniard, that's even better. Um, we're just going to go for our Bone Meringue. He can go into Altaro, that's fair enough. I'm, I've not got a problem with that. Far off a knockoff here. He is an... Okay, so he's a bit of a weird set. Uh, but Double Edge should kill. Uh, it doesn't kill. That's a shame. But, I think it's a worthy trade. Because Altaria is very, very bulky. So we've taken out the Altaria. we still got Red Skull. We could potentially Healing Wish this guy later on, which is really, really nice. Goes out into Mr. Mime. Um, the question is, do we want to keep this guy? Hmm. Have I got ways around the rest of his team? I think so. Hmm. I think Boomerang, I, yeah, I couldn't risk it. Just in case he was going to go for anything else. But we can go into Bufalon here. And fire off a nice and powerful return. We could Pursuit, actually. Oh, um... Mr. Mime versus, um... Bufalon... Pursuit. 27 to 35. Um, that could be really nice. There you go. Right, we got rid of his a lot of his health. Goes into Mag Cargo. Well, you're ground and rock, so Earthquake's going to do a lot to you. PU support. Versus Bufalon. Um, let's take off the choice band for a sec. Uh, upgrade kills. Max HP. So, I think we just EQ from here. We outspeed unless this is absolutely max speed. Um, so let's go for an EQ. There you go. Boom. Dead. Fantastic. Goes out into Machoke. Machoke is spooky. Confirmed. Um, how much do we do to Machoke? Because it may be just we need to get some damage off on this. Um, return. 39 to 47. Are we going to the knockoff here? I'm going to predict the knockoff here. Yeah, we got the knockoff there. Um, which is really, really nice. Uh... Have we got enough to deal with Pawniard is the question. Hmm. Knockoff. Okay, so we can take knockoffs and stuff like that. Um, so I am going to switch out here. Uh, and we're going to go into Mistrevis this turn. We got him. Okay. Machoke's a threat. He's got close combat. So we know what set he is. Um... Oh, is he that rest talk set? He might well be. Um, how much does Mistrevis do? I apologise for the amount of calcs, but uh, Machoke is nothing... Uh, let's see. Nothing to, like, not <laughs> to ignore. Um, Mistrevis. PU defensive. Knockoff it knock off is gonna do a significant chunk. But Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. 20 to 24. So it's not gonna do enough. Um he might be guts. Yeah, he's gonna be guts, unfortunately. Um Maybe this is the time to go into Whirlipede. I think this is the time to go into Whirlipede, and we're gonna start setting up some T spikes. Knock off crit, that's unfortunate, but uh, we can take CCs. We're going to set up some T-Spikes. <sighs> we just need to keep Bufflant in the back, because we still have enough HP to take hits. Goes into Pawniard. Um, okay. Uh, 
I think we go into Mistreva 6. He shouldn't go for knockoff here. He goes for SD. Uh, we can fire off a Willow. Ah, uh, he does outspeed. You know, he's max speed. Because we outspeed Adamants. That's a shame. No, our team, it just... It struggles too much is the problem. Right. We need to just roar this guy, I think. We need something. We need something to try and beat Pawnee Arts 1v1. Because knockoff, especially when they crit us, is fantastic. Um, Go Go getting poisoned is really nice. Um, we can just recover up here. Rock Slide is going to do like nothing. Because we are max physically defensive. And um, we can just go for Avalanches now. Goes into Pawnee Art again. Um... I'm going to Avalanche this turn, because I think he's going to Iron Head. He does Iron Head this turn. Oh, come on. Come on. Um, we're going to recover. Is he going to flinch us to death? No, he's not. Avalanche again. We're going to recover as he SDs this turn. We're just going to... Um, we're going to roar him again. Goes out into Machoke. Machoke's going to have Guts boost, which is uh, a bit of a problem. Um, but we can play around this. We, we're getting there. Close combat. We can take that absolutely fine, which is really, really nice. And uh, just fire off a layer of spikes and see what he decides to do. He does decide to Ice Punch here, taking us out, which is absolutely fine. We can now... Ooh, can we take we can take a bullet punch from Mimic? Probably our best bet is to go into Mimic here. Maybe I need to speed creep to 240. How much is that gonna take out though? Oh, it's gonna be way too much. Unless we make this timid. No, we're gonna lose so much for death, that's the problem. Um no, we want to be calm. Hmm. I apologise if I've been ignoring the chat slightly. Let's see. Um, FIFA 16 has finally downloaded. <laughs> Zach Kendall, thank you for making it out to the stream. Um, we're just going to fire off a Dazzling Gleam here. He does have that bullet punch. Uh, I was hoping he didn't have that. It was our only real play, though. Goes into Pawniard. Okay, he may have just misplayed there. Because... Just a minute. Right, what do we need to win? Do we need to dazzle, Dazzling Gleam? And lose Mimic. This can wall that. Boothalon can take a hit from anything else. But we are going to be low. Let's say we go into Titanic. Leaves us a Healing Wish loot user. Which Boothalon can finally clean up. Um, I think it's our best play. Goes for Sucker Punch. Gonna go for Avalanche this turn. Ah, we got the crit. Fantastic. Okay. Oh. Goes down to Mr. Mime. Spikes and T-Spikes is gonna wear him down a lot. Um, and we're gonna go for the Recover here. As he does go for the Dazzle. Um, and he's going to go down to poison here. So we can go into Mr. Mime. Um, go for that. Oh, do we, do we even need to healing wish with Boothlon? How much is, uh, let's see, Go-Go. Versus, um, Boothlon. Um, let's see, choice band, say. He's not going to be doing much, um, which is really, really nice. So we could trick here. Um, what, do, how much does Rock Slide do? Hmm. 
Nothing, basically. Okay. I think our plan of action is to trick. To guarantee that he can't set up subs or do anything che cheeky like that. Like that. I see you, Mr. Gogo. And, um... <laughs> We can go for a Psychic and basically clean up, and we end up winning that one. So that brings us back up. So we're back up. We're at 13.03. Uh, the background music is approaching Nirvana. So, how does that place us? Um, we got a few challenges, but we should probably... Um, let's see, we've probably got some more time. Uh, what are we looking at? Ladder. Uh, let's go into the ladder. P.U. Uh, Pelly Pepper Pride. 294. Okay, that's respectable. Still gone up 100 points from the start. Uh, let's go for another one. Hmm. How do we beat Pawniard? It's something I think I'm going to have to work on in between these streams. So, um... Any recommendations from you guys would be really... Yeah, well, I'd really recommend any suggestions at all. And uh, see from there. We've got 28 people watching. Now, I think that's close to a new record, which is absolutely insane. You, 29, you guys are absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying these, this laddering series. Like, I feel I'm working hard. I'm getting some really good games. But then I'm also feeling quite chilled as well. And uh, it's just good to be able to chat with you guys as well. And uh, see from there, we haven't had any subscri fun subscriber notifications, which is a shame, because that always scares me. Celine Carr, thank you for making out to the stream. Right, this guy's got an interesting team. What's my thoughts on the Pelipper ban? I'm so sad. My like, Pelipper, just, it basically was like the glue that held that tier together. Um, Mr. My Mania. <laughs> Good luck, have fun. If you guys don't know, Mr. My Mania is a very, very uh, old subscriber as well. Um, I'll just say if you could tap out of the stream, that'd be great. It's funny to meet subscribers on the ladder, especially when they were what they're watching the, uh, um, if, uh, you could tap out of the stream, that would be great. Um, right. Oh! Zach Kendall, thank you for subscribing. Hope you guys are enjoying the little notification. <laughs> uh, right. Let's see. What do we need off with this time? He's got an offensive defogger going on. Um, but T-Spikes do look very, very nice against his team. Um, I'm going to leave with Marowak. He could be leading off with the... He leads off with Gorgeist. Okay. Gorgeist. Um, well, Mistrevis is probably our best switch here. Um, we don't want to get burnt. This guy does a lot of work against this, uh, against Mr. Mime's team. So, I think that's probably our best course of action. Um, I'm just going to Shadow Ball here. See what he decides to go into. He does go into Ollie the Rapid Ash. <laughs> that's a fantastic nickname. Um, Ollie does present a bit of a scary problem. Um, Rapid Ash. Physical Attacker versus, um, Avalug. This is the problem. Avalug's not got the best typing. Um, we are fully defensive, which may make a difference. Bold. Can we take two? We can... 76% chance to two at Kyo after leftovers. That's assuming he's life orb. We haven't showed, seen any item. Um... Powerful fire types could be a problem. Um... What about versus Mistrevus? Mistrevus. P defensive. It's going to be doing a lot. 40 viewers? Wait, what? I've got 30 on here. Have we got 40 viewers in? Really? Let's have a look. Open link in new tab. Powerful fire type. 41 viewers watching right now. That is fantastic. I, I oh, Honestly, that's like, that's incredible. It must be my analytics must be slightly, uh, slightly off. But that is insane. Oh my goodness. Right, we'll go back to the battle. <laughs> right. Um, how do we play around this guy? We could go into Avalog here. Because he's going to take a huge amount of HP from that Flare Blitz. 
And we have got a few things we can cover up on. And I don't see Avalug being majorly useful this time. So let's let's go into Avalug and just get him to wear himself down with recoil. Critical hit is unfortunate. The burn's really, really unfortunate. But um, what can you do? It's Pokemon. <laughs> we are going to live on though. So he might die to recoil. Um, so let's recover here and see what he ends up doing. 43 viewers. That's absolutely insane, guys. I remember when I was lucky to get like 15 people watching. So that's just insane. Oh, that's fantastic. He does die to Life Orb Recall. It was a good trade-off, I think, um, from from there. Um, let's see. So what could we go out into now? <sighs> Probably Whirlipede. Uh, this is the thing. Swan is a bit of a threat. Uh, we have got to switch in with Mistrevious. Let's go into Marowak and see what he decides to go into. He goes into the Stun Fist. That's fantastic. We're just going to go for Knock Off because no one in their right minds would stay in with Stun Fisk. And if we can get a good amount of damage and knock off that guy's Life Orb, that could make a lot of difference. Um, yeah, absolutely crazy. But 40, 40 viewers. <laughs> 43 viewers. Um, right, so we do knock off his item, which is fantastic. Um, how well does Bouflon take this guy, actually? Uh, I don't particularly want to take too much damage. Um, but on the other hand, let's see. Bouflon versus, um, Swanner. Uh, we might have to take a Scald, though. That's the only thing. I don't really want to take a Scald. Um, none? Hurricane still does a lot. Um, what about, uh, we, we can go into Missy. Missy's probably our best bet here. Scald, we can take that fine. Burn's going to be a bit of a pain, but he doesn't really have a switch into Shadow Ball. He does go for that powerful Roost. 40%. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, let's go for Pain Split as he does go for that Roost. And that's really, really nice. Uh, we're going to go for a Burn this time. Because that plus Roost is going to do a lot. Uh, sorry, it's going to negate the Roost, which is really, really nice. Um, Quill Quill Quilladin. With Spike's Taunt, that actually could be a, a better a better way to go there. Oh, unfortunately, he does miss the, uh, the Hurricane, which is a shame. Um, we're going to go for Shadow Ball here. He is going to be able to potentially stall us out, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But, on the other hand... Um, he, does, oh, he hits his hurricane this time. We get the pain split off, which is nice. And he's basically now got to choose whether to kill us or we kill him. So we're going to go for Shadow Ball. If we lose Grave Killer to this, it's not the worst thing in the world. 39%. We do, do get the Spadef drop this turn. We do die, unfortunately. But um, this means we can go into Mr. Mime. What, um, Quilladin is actually a really, really good idea. What we're going to do, we're going to change that round in a sec. Um, so we're going to go for a Dazzle. And we can start Hazard Stacking after this. Uh, so while while that's going on. So I think Quilladin is pure grass. But um, it has got a really respectable... Uh, it gets Drain Punch though and stuff like that. So I think while it doesn't get Stab on that, it could work really well. And instantly, it allows us to handle um, other potential problems like um, Shadow Balls from other uh, Streavuses and stuff like that. Right, Jackie, you're in here. Um, Marble, you're our switching because you're going to start laying some T-Spikes. Seed Bomb's going to do absolutely nothing. Out comes the T-Spikes. Um, Monferno could be an option. Uh, Little Rich D, but we we kind of want some hazard stack. We do lose T-Spikes though. T-Spikes is what really helps this team. But I think it is too passive. We need we need some we need spikes. Uh spiky shield. I oh, know what what was the suggestion? Um Drain Punch. Drain Punch is definitely on the cards. Um Synthesis and Woodhammer, I think, may be the way to go. 
Um, wood hammer. Now, oh, my typing skills are atrocious at the minute. Um, and we're going to make this max physically defensive. And we'll run some calcs. So that's just, just a note. Um, we're going to protect here. Because we don't know what type of Mr. Mime this is. He goes to the Psychic. Um, do we just need two layers of T-Spikes? That's probably all we need. And we still don't know what type of this is. Um, and I don't really want to switch in it if it is, um... Yeah, we don't really... Yeah, we want, don't want to switch anything in in case of, um... Specs or something like that. So that's probably our best bet. Also, I'm thinking Bufalon. I might go back to Head Charge because that allows us to two at Keo. Um... Uh, Machoke, and that makes our lives a lot easier. It's these sorts of little things that you need to try and try and deal with, because they can become problems. Um, Mio Gerat, hope thank you for coming out to the stream. Hope you have enjoyed it so far. Do, I haven't, have I seen you? I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've seen you around. Uh, maybe I haven't. I apologise if I haven't. There's currently we're at something crazy like a 40 viewer hype. Um, let's just have another check. Um, and uh, let's see, 39 watching now. Uh, we do take that psychic like a boss. That is fantastic. And uh, we can actually go for a <laughs> cheeky endeavor here, which is really, really nice. Because um, we do outspeed with that 2.5 times speed. And uh, we've got T spikes up, which is going to really wear down his team. Um, he is locked into psychic by the looks of things. So we can go into our mimic here and fire off a psychic of our own. And basically, he doesn't really have much in terms of switch ins. I'm aware we're slowly wearing down our walls and um, like our potential walls and stuff like that. Psychic critical hit, that's unfortunate, but he, that does confirm that he is scarfed. Um, and we'll see what he goes into from here. Goes into Gorgeist. Gorgeist, Gorgeist, Gorgeist. What's he going to do? Um, Gorgeist. Any defensive... Um, Shadow Sneak versus uh, Mr. Mime. I think we have to go into Marowak here, unfortunately. Um, he can't really afford to not go for Shadow Sneak or Seed Bomb. He, go oh, he does go for Will-O-Wisp. I must have been it's talking rubbish. <laughs> That's a shame, um, but we can just go for a knockoff here. Knocking off this guy's leftovers is going to be really, really nice. Seed Bomb is going to hurt like a, a whole load, but uh, I think we might be able to take a Shadow Sneak from there and uh, just go for another knockoff and just get some really good damage off on this guy. Uh, we could have played around and gone into Bufalon, but then we can't really touch this anyway, so it wouldn't have really been worth it. If Machoke can survive one head charge, it would kill Bufla after one recall. That's actually a good point. Yeah, I think when we go back to return, I think that might be our best bet. But this game is going to be close. It's basically my offense against his bulk. Um, and we'll see from there. 41 viewer hype. That is insane. Absolutely insane. If you guys are enjoying it as well, don't forget to hit the like button down below. I'd really, really appreciate it because I'm really enjoying the series so far. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as well. And it, it just shows me that you guys are enjoying it and uh, having a good time. But absolutely insane. He, we do end up staying in. Knockoff is going to do a good amount and uh, we do go down from there. But he goes down to Toxic, which is fantastic. Now, Mr. Mime versus Machoke. Choke. Are you any rest talk? Um, psychic. Psychic, you should do a lot. Psychic. And that is a 252 HP Machoke. So, Bufalon, we lead off with you. And basically, Bufalon's job will be to wear them down and just live as much as possible. Because we can take hits from Stunfisk. Um, and we should be able to then potentially sweep Mr. Mime. Which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, so in terms of our streaming schedule that's coming up, we're going to be doing, this is going to be our Sunday streams as well. I'm going to be here, we're going to do some laddering, we're going to chill, chat, 
have some fun and uh, stuff like that. And um, then on top of that, on Wednesdays, we're going to be doing the sort of having a go with the team build from the team builder on the Monday. We're going to be testing the team and I'm going to be battling you guys for that. So you guys still get to have a chance to battle. I just want some more time to really get into laddering and improve my battling from there. Um, so we go out into Bouffalant as he goes out into Stunfisk. I think we just EQ here. Um... Stunfisk versus uh, Bufalant. That's Choice Banded. 40 to 48, that's good enough for me. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Mime, more like Mr. Meme. Oh my goodness, that is... That is terrible. <laughs> oh, that, that is terrible. And... Um, See from there and then also if you are not subscribed to me as well and you want to see more of the streams and know where exactly when i'm streaming then <clears throat> don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below we get some funny noises that come on screen as well so um <laughs> drop like an earthquake so mike mike's saying oh are you saying we're not challenging enough you know i'm not saying i'm not saying that it's good to see some of you guys improve so much like it is really really cool does discharge please don't power fantastic okay let's go um earthquake again It is going to be close. This is going to be a really, really close game. Um, Bufalon builds for the win. I am so hyped to start the Pokemon Fight Club as well. I have made some really cheeky trades as well, which I think I'm going to be making a video that's going to go up on Tuesday about those. And then you, obviously we got the battle on Thursday. I haven't had the battle yet, but um, Mega Metagross hype is all I can say. Like Mega Metagross plus Hydreigon plus Keldeo plus Sash Alakazam. Like that is a fantastic team in and itself. And it uh, should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Doesn't get the prize, so that's fantastic. And uh, we can take him out from here with a uh, safe return. He's not some weird ghost type stun fisk. <laughs> Goes out into John Cena. Do, 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 do. Um, we're just going to fire off a return. And I think that's game. That is definitely game. Because we outspeed. We can... Uh, ooh. Ooh. Actually, is that game? Ooh. It's gonna be... Ah, maybe it's not. It's gonna come down to whether Bullet Punch kills. I completely forgot about Bullet Punch. Ah, damn it. Mr. Mime Mania, that was a fantastic game. Oh, that was a good game. I completely forgot at the end about Bullet Punch. Uh, I didn't play that right. I could have gone out into that, taken the hit, and gone out from there. And also, I could have been static paralyzed. Ah. Your team is so good, especially when comparing to John's team. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, so I think, how are we doing time-wise? We've probably got time for one more. Let's let's pop back on the ladder and see from there. Uh, it's a shame. We're getting a few... Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We haven't finished uh, Quilladin. Impish. Um, and we'll see from there. How much does Quilladin do? Not Quilava. Any spikes. Drain Punch versus um, Horniard. Yeah, it's a decent amount. Um, he can't really do a huge amount. So I think we're going to go for that for the time being. And see from there. Uh, it's a shame. I, I, I feel I misplayed that M bit. I should have thought about it. I completely forgot about... Um, I thought I was at max HP. And I knew I could live at max HP. But uh, we'll give Quilladin a try. And see from there. But uh, it is going to be a bit of a grind to let her up. But it uh, should be good fun at the same time. Okay. So I'm seeing a good lead is going to be that uh, Marowak. There's a couple of things that could cause issues. Uh, goes down to Beedrill. Beedrill, you're absolutely fine. Um, everything apart from Naughty is grounded. So we're just going to go. We're going to go for a knockoff here. That looks to be potentially banded. Um, really, yeah, Quilladin is a really nice spiker. So it could fit the team really, really nicely. Um, let's just stop editing the scene. There you go. Do, do, do. Goes into Basculin. We're going to... Oh, my goodness. That's a good amount of damage. And um, we can just go into Avalog here. 
E-Belt is interesting. What the fuck? Ah, the damage. The damage. And uh, we're just going to fire off a uh, Avalanche. Because actually his team doesn't pre pretty particularly appreciate an Avalanche. Wiggly Tough. Um... 29%, not bad. Um, are you going to have knockoff? Are you going to be that wiggly tough? I think I'm going to risk the biscuit. Flamethrower. Okay. Well, you're a competitive set, but you're going to be max HP. Um, so. Let's see. Um, I don't want to click knockoff again. Uh, unless I can afford it, because I'm not going to be able to like, speed a lot. Marowak. Uh, PU Offensive versus... Um, what's it called? Wiggly, or Wiggly Tough. 56 to 66. He might be just defensive. Um, actually, we can test um, Avalug. Uh, Avalanche. Hmm. Doesn't really tell us much. Um, but is that after attacking or is that not after attacking? Well, I think Bullet Bill will Blitzkrieg more than <laughs> Reiko on John's team. It is gonna, it is gonna absolutely wreck souls. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, I think our best bet here is to... Uh, see, so he could be max defensive, but considering he did the flame... Actually, how much did that do to us? Um, uh, Marowak. Um, flamethrower. 26 to 31. Whereas he did 53. So he's offensive. So I think double edge is our best bet. He has no ghost types. Let's go for that. Basculin gets sacked off. That's fine. Goes back on to Beedrill. Um, I think we just go back on to Titanic. I think that's um, probably our best way to go. We need to set up some hazards here. Uh, goes down to Wigglytuff. Um, right. We go into Grave Killer here. And uh, Flamethrower, we're going to eat. Oh, we don't eat that up as well. He gets Crit Burn. Absolutely typical. <laughs> we're going to fire off a Willow here and uh, see what he decides to do. Is the Cash Rush team completely dead? It will be making a return. Uh, we had a problem where um, Zero didn't actually have... Oh, that's fantastic. <sighs> oh my goodness, that's that's such a pain. Um, we're going to pain split here. Uh, oh, Koritsu DFM, thank you for subscribing. Um, oh, that's really, really irritating. Um, question is, can we kill this Beedrill? We have a Psychic. Hmm. So yeah, the team lock's not dead yet. Um, <laughs> it's just we had a problem because uh, Zero's mic broke, and uh, he had to get a new one. <clears throat> and I think he, he's finally got it, but um, and that that's why we've not had one just yet. Um, let's see. That's really irritating. That crit burn made such a difference. Um, We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Because how are we doing wins versus losses? Um, dash rank. So that looks to be banded Beedrill. 116 lost 5. Not the best. Um... So we could go into Bufalon here. Because if he's 252, modest. Versus Bufalon. It's choice ban. Uh, Flamethrower does 23 to 37. So Bufalon, you're our best switch in here. Come on, don't you dare burn me again. Good. Okay. Um, I see no harm in firing off a nice uh, little return here. So that should be able to take out Wigglytuff and uh, do a really, really nice amount from there. 47 viewer hype. That is insane. 
47. 48? Oh, can we break 50 viewers? Can we break 50 viewers? That would be insane. Absolutely insane. Um, Almaldo. Uh, we can go... Oh, do we go into Quilladon? That was probably a bit of a hasty move. Um, but I feel like we need a layer of spikes here. We can still go into Titanic. Uh, X scissors doesn't really do much. That's fine. We can actually set up on this guy. Um, and just keep setting up rocks. Because I don't think he's going to have anything to actually do a good amount. Critical hit is unfortunate. Um, we do outspeed. So we can synthesis here. And uh, basically just keep setting up spikes all over this guy's team. Uh, which is really, really nice. He Doesn't he have rapid spin? I uh, does go for that knockoff there, which is a shame. Um... I'm going to go into Avalog this turn, see what he decides to do. He could go for the spin here. He Does he not have spin? Um, I'm going to rapid spin this turn. He gets, he's gets he got Toxic, so I don't know if he's got spin then. He might have Stone Edge. Um, that's really interesting. And we have lost our Heal Bellow because of Hacks, which is a shame. Um, so let's recover here. Ah, uh, do we do a do we do an offensive switch? Um, we could do. Let's go for an offensive switch. I think, I think he's gonna switch here. Ah, uh, he doesn't switch. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That's a real pain. Um, I'm misplaying here terribly. Ah. Damn it. Okay. Titanic is still needed. Red Skull could still put in work. I think we go back out. So, the trouble is, Bufflon is walled by the Almaldo, um, which is a real shame. But I don't see there being much else that Bufflon can do apart from take hits. And I get burnt on the switch anyway. Um, not much you can do about that, unfortunately. And we do take out the Wigglytuff. So big, big, big problem to this team is out of the way now, which is really, really nice. Um, what I'm seeing is we're setting up for a Mr. Mime Sweep here. Or potentially Marowak, which is really, really nice. Um, I think he's going to go into Beedrill here. Because it makes most sense, because he can U-turn and do all those sorts of things. He goes into Natu. Nartu's a bit of a spooky thing at the minute, because um, we don't really know what to expect from it. I'm going to Avalanche here. Goes into Almaldo. 18% really not doing enough. Um, hmm. Maybe over Woodhammer I should go for Leech Seed. Might be a better way to go there. Um, right. Maybe I healing wish Red Skull, because I might be able to... How much do Armaldo? Or I could just go in... I need to basically pivot into Mr. Mime somehow. Um, Sequilidin, how useful are you? You're actually not massively useful now. Um, so if we can get, set up another layer of spikes, that would be good. But then that's basically your job done. Um, so let's set up a layer of spikes. Uh, Armaldo versus um, Mr. Mime. Um, just say cast up Barry, for argument's sake. Um, leftovers. Okay, so you actually take these hits really well. Psychic. Psychic does like nothing. Oh my goodness. Um, I <laughs> go Pelly Pepper Pride. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, right. Mr. Mime. Psychic does 40 to 49. Whereas Knockoff, how much will Knockoff do? Knockoff does 59 to 60, assuming no hit attack. Um, that's not good. Uh, yes, this we are still live, uh, TVR. Um, currently struggling a little bit against a very annoying Armado set that Mistrevious could have handled. 
but we were unable to handle with it. Oh, Nest Track. Thank you for subscribing. Um, let's see. So our options are we could go into Marowak here, get a massive hit off, and then, yeah, I think that's our play. Marowak, um, Marowak, Marowak. How much do we do? Bone Ryan can kill. Marowak, you are our savior and our only hope. You should, in theory, outspeed Bone Morang. Oh, that does... Why does that do so little? Uh, have we lost our item? I think we... Why did that do so little? Well, is that because I, I hadn't calculated for defense? But that's fine. That's all I needed to do. He's now at a point. Um, McCaddy sold my subs. Oh, my goodness. Um, so now let's go into Mr. Mime. And... Um, Let's go for a Psychic here. Take out the Armado, which is really, really nice. And see what he decides to do. Goes into Beedrill. 273 speed, 306 speed. We outspeed this. We are Choice Scarf. We take it out. Natu, Natu, you're a problem. Um, basically, what we got to do is we got to get into Avalug here. And T-Wave fails which is great and um we're just gonna fire off an avalanche here and see how that goes you turn oh you this guy is gonna be in a world of hurt 53 percent that's fantastic okay Natu. seems to be a supportive set now What do we need to test? So we could either stay in here. Which, considering this set beats the Naughty set 1v1, I don't know if that's a good idea. So, um, let's have a look. Maybe our best bet is to... Um, how much does Mr. Mime take from... Um, what's the electricity thing? Raichu. I take a Thunderbolt. So, it's a bit risky, but I think this is my play. Oh my goodness. And that just lost us the game. The crit plus paralysis. Um, yeah, because he's going to be able to live a hit and be able to take us out. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I can't recover on a Raichu. That paralysis, that 1 in 10 chance lost us another one. Which is a shame. Because um, he can just he can just run the bolt again. Now, unless we're living here, which I don't think we are, because he's life orb. Ah, uh, no, no, that paralysis lost us the game, which is a shame. Ah, how are we doing time wise? Right, I think unfortunately that has dropped us a huge amount. Those last two games, oh my goodness, are we even? 241. We even just like dropped off. We may even just dropped off a ladder. We just lost all our progress. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. Real, real shame. Really, really close battles though. Some really, really fun ones. Um, we have made a little bit of progress, but not a massive amount of progress, unfortunately. But um, have I ever used Frogadin? No, I have not used Frogadin before. But anyway, I think we're gonna wrap it up from here. So if you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like. I would really, really appreciate it. I've had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I'm. Pro I am running out of time, so uh, if, as I said, if you are excited, don't forget to hit the like button down below. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out. Uh, that is not true.